Well, good morning guys. So I will soon get in the content of the day, but first I gotta drop off the kids at daycare and fix my hair. Kids are gone, hair is fixed. Let's get on with this, okay? So first off today I'd like to comment uh, on a really nice guy. Of course I'm talking about Casey Neistat because that is the title of today's video. And it's not clickbait. I just want to tell you what I think about the latest events going on with Casey. So for those of you who have never ever seen my vlog before, just hang in there a few more minutes. And then when my vlog goes on you can just move on with your beautiful lives if you like to. It's quite alright. So, as the title states of this video, Casey Neistat seems to be human after all. I have been watching Casey's vlog since vlog number 62, which was called Airplane Nightmare. I put a link in the description below for it. And I remember that this was the first ever vlog I saw with Casey Neistat, and I had no idea who the guy was, and he had his red nose, you know, like clowns has on. And it was some kind of uh, act for charity or supporting something. And I thought he actually had a red nose on the entire time. So there he was, Casey Neistat, with his goggles and red nose. And I was like, is this the guy everybody's talking about? And I just figured he had that on because he wanted to be like anonymous. But that would mean like every vlog he made, we would, he would have a red nose on. That would be very practical. So, as the title of today's video states, Casey Neistat seems to be human after all. Casey had been doing daily vlogs since a long time. Me, myself, my first contact with the vlog format was with Jon Olsson, uh, the Swedish alpinist. I'm from Sweden, he's from Sweden, so I was kind of interested. I put a link in the description to his channel. And Jon kept talking about Casey. Like, Casey's the master of storytelling, you have to watch him. So I figured out who this Casey guy was and started watching his vlogs. And my mind was just blown away when I watched his first vlogs. I mean, come on! I instantly felt so many similarities in the way he presented the story, how he wanted to keep the energy level and always do the unexpected. Because Casey has these amazing abilities to surprise the viewer over and over and over. So he was doing what my vision of storytelling would be like. So he had felt like some kind of version of myself, but a big difference. This guy was on steroids. On steroids. He did over he did it like a thousand times worse than I ever could imagine. And that's a great source for inspiration, of course. Let's get back to the part when I said Casey Neistat seems to be human. And what I mean by this is simply the fact that this guy puts a lot of time into workouts. He's a family man, he works probably more than a full-time job. And every single night he presses the upload button. And if you are truly determined about what you want to do, this is not a problem to do every single day. It's just a matter of prioritizing. So for me, I tried this daily vlogging concept in this, this uh, on the vacation this summer with the family. I went from zero vlogs a day to a 10 minute vlog every day. And you could just figure out what that meant. I had to like edit four hours every night. And of course the social life took a pretty hard hit. It was every man's fantasy. And the family was the one who suffered from it. But I figured I really wanted to try this out while I had the time on vacation before we get back to regular work to see if it even was humanly possible to do a vlog every day. And I realized it was so easy to make a vlog when you're on the vacation. Because you have the content every day for the vlog. Beautiful surroundings, the Swedish summer, the ocean, the beach, the kids are happy, the family life. All that I wanted is a gun, the soul that I I said it once, it's all that I wanted. This was not a problem to get a good content, but... If you work every day, have a lot of meetings, and you don't even have the time to pick up the camera, then you don't have enough quality of your content to publish it in a video. So I guess me and Casey are on the same, we have the same kind of problems here. We work a full day, and it's so much work. I also work a full-time job, and the job has nothing to do with video making. I'm, I'm an engineer working with uh, underground ex excavation projects, you know, they blast rock and whatever. <laughs> You 
can check it out, link in the description for one of the videos or not. There simply ain't enough good content. It's like when the workday is over and finally you can pick up the camera, then the sun is settling, you have no light, it's raining. What kind of videos are you supposed to make? I mean, for sure you can do like flashback memories, show them, tell them stories about previous events. But in the end, it's really hard to make a good content vlog. I have several times already in my short official vlogging career made videos in which I edited to about 80% done and then throw it all away because I'm extremely hard with myself. If I feel that the content is not getting there, I throw it away. I want it to be perfect or there is nothing. So anyway, Casey, if you are watching this, I highly doubt it. After watching your videos, I felt that I was ready to commit and become a YouTuber. So I had been making videos for years, uh, but I never published it on YouTube. And I have a lot of camera equipment, drones, yada yada, whatever. So the format of a vlog was just perfect for me because I like to tell a good story and entertain people. I'm also into some tech stuff. I love gear, good gear, trying out new gear and so on. Let's just say I got addicted to making people happy and surprising them with video material. Vlogging is perfect. That concludes the Casey part for today. I hope you enjoyed that part if you never seen my vlogs before. And if you found this interesting, you could hang around for a few more minutes. If it goes like it always does, I will overshoot too much material and end up with editing and tossing away a lot later on tonight. Plan for the day. I'm going into the office, which is at the Ericsson Globe. There are no meetings today, but I have to talk to some people. When the day is over, I'm picking up the kids and then I'm going to work out with my neighbor. The plan is that we will participate in Vasa Loppet. If you've never heard of it, it's a Swedish skiing, cross-country skiing competition where the public gets to participate. 15,000 people go crazy and start at the same time. You have to fight your way through it. They are super crazy. So I don't even know why I'm doing it, but I guess I like the challenge and it uh, forces me to work out, so I feel better. Time to go to work. I think I pretty much filled up the vlog for the entire day here, but uh, let's shoot some more video and prioritize later. Let's go. So here I was just whining on about the weather, telling it's super dark, super cold, super rainy. What do you think happens? Well, of course the sun pops out and you get the best kind of weather in weeks. Sometimes complaining helps. All she told you there would be no meetings today, but that has changed now. Now there will be some meetings, just one meeting. Here is the rig, by the way, if you haven't seen it before. Super portable. Good. Done with the meeting. Time to finally go home. 
on our way to the garage people i'm actually going to take a phone meeting in the car as well i kind of had missed it so they invited me late but i still have to par participate now i just have to find my dear car So I'm pretty much gonna drive home now, participate in that phone meeting. To save some time for this vlog, I'm just gonna spin you there, okay? See you at home. And I'm finally home. I also ended up being so efficient that I got by the store during the phone meeting. So I actually shopped some groceries while talking on the phone. And also the kids and family are here. So I think I shot a lot of material in today's vlog, so I'm just gonna end it right here and go in and start the edit. There is an aspect of time loss today because we're going to work out in just a few hours. Family man duties is calling. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Maybe some new watchers arrived. I see you another day. Now it's time to do the first illegal drone flight in Sweden since the new verdict about the new legislation. And of course what makes this setup extra badass is that I was out in the rain doing this. <laughs> so illegal and rain.